There's Son of Peeps. Let's go over a Son of Quickie. We're going to go over Krukenberg tumor today, which is an ovarian metastasis. And so Krukenberg tumor was first described by Friedrich Ernst Krukenberg uh, in the article Uber das Fibrosarcoma ovari mucocellulari carcinomatodes in 1896. It is usually a very large tumor found in the ovaries from metastatic origins. Here you can see a gross patholo Here you can see a gross pathological specimen showing two very large tumors and the uterus there in the middle. It is of metastatic origin from signet ring cell adenocarcinoma. These are very rare adenocarcinomas that release mucin. They are often found as a very large pelvic mass. 80% of the time, they are bilateral in both ovaries. 50% of these tumors arise or metastasize from the gastrointestinal tract, usually from a gastric or pyloric adenocarcinoma. They are often large, greater than 10 centimeters. The other percentage of tumors come from usually genitourinary or breast origins. In pediatrics, you can see them arising or metastasizing from neuroblastomas, lymphomas, or leukemia. And they account for 1-2% to of ovarian cancers. Here you can see an example of the tumor in an ovary. It's very heterogeneous. You can still see some follicles within the ovary and then just some heterogeneous tissue of mixed echogenicity. Here's another example of a large ovarian tumor that was a Krukenberg tumor. And here's another example in a panoramic view. These tumors can cause abdominal and pelvic pain, bloating, ascites, hydronephrosis from pressure on the ureters of the mass. They can also provoke a reaction from the ovarian stroma, which can lead to hormone, excessive hormone production, which can lead to uh, vaginal bleeding, hirsutism, and period irregularities. Krugenberg tumors can be seen in all age groups, though they do average at around 45 years of age. I uh, hope you enjoyed the sauna quickie, all right? Take care. Bye.